In this video, you're gonna see what a full week of eating and training looks like for a breastfeeding slash nursing mom. Full disclosure, throughout this week, I ate a lot and I went off my diet multiple times. I take progress pictures at the beginning and end of every single week. So if you wanna see what ultimately happens to my physique as a result of going off plan multiple times and overeating, then stick around to the very end because the results might surprise you. For my postpartum transformation so far, I follow an approach called flexible dieting. With flexible dieting, you essentially track your calories so that you can fit in more fun foods in moderation while still making progress towards your physique goals, whatever those are. It could be losing fat, building muscle, whatever. I'm currently in a phase coaches will call body recomposition, which is where I'm trying to add a little bit of muscle that I lost during my pregnancy without adding too much extra fat. To do that as a breastfeeding mother, my calorie consumption needs end up following anywhere between 2,300 calories to 2,800 calories per day. If I notice my supply dipping, I just eat a big meal and I'll track my intake so I know when it's time to up my calories. I'll get these calories over the course of a day in three meals and sometimes a snack. This works for me because I don't have that much time to think about food, prepare food, let alone eat as a new working mom. So I designed my diet around being able able to eat a nourishing meal or prepare a nourishing meal while my baby is sleeping. As for workouts, I only have time to train three days a week fasted. I just try and get it in first thing in the morning and I'll share those workouts with you here as well. Throughout this video, you'll see all my three workouts, which end up being no more than 15, 20 minutes. I will share everything I eat throughout the week, some tips to prep food very quickly, some calorie saving options I've discovered over many years along my fitness journey. I'll share the options I choose when I go out to eat or when I want to have more drinks adult beverages, if you will, as well as how I might go about fixing a hangover in the event I drink too much, which I do in this video. And I'll show you what I do if I so happen to overeat a lot, which happens a few times. At the end of this video, you'll have a great idea as to how I'm able to maintain a relatively lean physique, make progress on my fitness goals while still eating out and enjoying foods, drinks, whatever I feel like. This is what's working for me right now, but my preferences typically change about once a month. So enough chit chat, let's go get into the full week of eating and training. Finally, finally, you know, you know. 
Yeah, yeah, my office is in my son's nursery, so I don't know. So I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna get some work done. Drinking like that last night was not a good idea. I am on the struggle bus today. Oh, my body doesn't feel good. I just wanna like go like this and just take a, just kinda just, just take a little nap. Cool talk, okay. when I eat, and I think that's just because I'm a savage. It's uh, almost one, and I'm starving. Oh, man, I almost back in my chair. I think I might be going out to eat tonight, so if I'm going out to eat, usually restaurants have a lot of fat, so I think I'm gonna do a leaner protein, because if I do a leaner protein, I can save some of those macros. Oh my God, I look like shit right now, I'm sorry guys. I can save some of those macros for when I eat out because typically restaurants, they put in a lot of fat in their food because they want you to keep coming back and fat tastes good. I'll show you what I come up with when I'm done. I have to hurry up. Ton of vegetables, chicken. I'm probably gonna have one of these buns just to make it like somewhat tastier. And then I'm gonna add a Diet Coke to that because I like it. <laughs> again. Maybe I'll take like a thumbnail now. I wanted to take a cute pic for the thumbnail right back into comfy clothes. So I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna do some work. 3.07. I'm not really hungry but I'm bored and I want to take a break from working. So I'm gonna eat a snack. And you guys know what I'm doing right now? 
I'm working. overate a little bit last night by 1200 calories. I don't know if that's a little bit or whatever. We're still gonna eat the same breakfast. The only difference with this breakfast is that this is 2.6 ounces of banana as opposed to four ounces, which I typically have. But the only reason that is is because I was too lazy to open another banana and we're running low on bananas and I wanna eat more banana later today. Blah, 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 it doesn't really matter, you get the point. But he goes down for his nap. I'm just gonna do a little bit of work. When you overeat, it's important not to try and compensate the next day. If you're not hungry, if you're like really not hungry, then I don't think there's any point in forcing down food if you really had a bender, but I am hungry, so I'm going to honor that <laughs> Thank you. 